Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Elder Scrolls Online video. In this video, I'd like to share with you my route uh, for treasure chests, which will allow you to uh, find specific sets or gold or whatever, right? But essentially, for myself, I was looking for to try out the Mad Tinker. I'm just missing out one piece. Uh, but this route is actually pretty cool, the location is good, the chests are very close to each other so it will not only help you to unlock different kind of uh, set styles as you can see I've unlocked it all because I'm a new player, I just started playing like a month ago and uh, man, I'm telling you, it also got me some really decent gold and it's a very easy route. So let's stop wasting time, jump right into the video. Alright, so the location we're going to be looking for is actually a delve in Clockwork City. That's it. You should have uh, the access to this way shrine. I would highly recommend opening this way, way shrine as well. Then you navigate to this uh, dwell right here. Right. So once you're inside, you will spawn in right over here. I decided to show this uh, uh, route from the very start because a lot of people love to see the actual route route and not like start from some point. But anyway, so you walk yourself uh, downwards. By the way, uh, most of the times so you'll have a lot of pack of enemies. So I would highly recommend having uh, skills that do mass damage. So you can take care of them pretty easy and quick. Right? Uh, afterwards, we'll, we'll come to this road over here. Now, usually, uh, we need to start going to the right. But I also highly recommend turning left and check for three potential chests right in this area because they are actually super close to each other and I'll show you the locations of both of them uh, just when I deal with these guys by the way I'm a new player to ESL I just started playing like a month ago so don't judge me with my build so one chest should be right here that's not <laughs> we'll come back here again another chest should be right here and it is So I'll be opening all the chests so they can respawn and I have a chance of showing you the chest locations. Alright, make sure to pick everything up so the chest can reset. The other chest is right there and we can actually see it right now. Let me deal with this guy real quick. Whoa, what's up with this? Lag, lag. Get out of here, man. I'm trying to make a video. Alright, there we go. That's the chest right here and this is the third one. So I have my champion points invested into uh, treasure hunt so I can get more gold and stuff out of it. So you can see me getting 117 gold and uh, better loot. Uh, for those who are new let me quickly show you that champion points that I was talking about. So it's in sh the shadow I believe. Yeah treasure hunter there we go. So that's what I have in. I'm still like more PvE playstyle trying to go into PvP. That's why I want to try out this Tinker set. But this game is actually really fun. I'm enjoying it so much. And by the way, having that said, I've actually also created a Discord server with, uh, well, we already had a Discord server for Fallout 76, and we still have it. <laughs> uh, but I also added ESO to it as well. So if you want to join and play with us, feel free to do so. Besides, we've uh, started out our guild, Z Clan Guild. And we're going to be mainly focusing on helping each other and some PvP activity, dungeon activity, stuff like that. And there's more people. Alright, so there's another chest. should be right here. But it's not. It should be right here. But we'll come back here some other time. Once again, because the route that we're going to follow, we're going to jump off over there. So we should say hello to that spot as well. And one more potential chest inside this little house over here. Boom. Uh, let me open my map. So we check the chest right here, here, and here. Also we check the chest over here, and over here. Alright, I'm gonna be doing that time at time. Boom. Alright, then we go and we will check the chest under this bridge. See if we got it. There will be some crocos over here. And we have the chest. So, <laughs> it's all good.
Alright, afterwards you run through this here location, kill the crocodiles, and another chest is going to be very close as well. It's right over there. This ra uh, route will have a lot of chests, by the way, right now. Uh, usually, it's like there's like five of them right next to each other, so that's actually pretty cool. There we go. Down I did it. You navigate over here. By the way, over there you'll you'll have a sky shard if you haven't picked it up. Jump down and chest. Ah, dead. Oh man, I hate these simple chests. This is so annoying. Give me some mastery. I love master chests, <laughs> like just like everybody else. All right. Afterwards, you walk up these stairs over here. Oh, Pick him up, blood man. And a chest over here. There's gonna be, I think, two or three more right close to each other as well. Boom. chest right there but it's not here Damn it. I'll show you the exact location right now in a second so there should be a chest right over here let's go continue there should be a chest right here as well and we don't have it huh <laughs> chest right here guy so he doesn't follow me around. Man, you just die, man. Then we're back to the location where we already looked for the chest. Unfortunately, this one still didn't spawn in. But I usually still check if it respawned or not. And uh, we could double check again if that one respawned as well. Yes, it did. After, we, after this, we're going back to the bridge. The one the, to the right, not to the left. There we go. Now we're going back to that bridge over there. The chances that there's gonna be a chest over here are pretty low because we already picked it up recently. But still, there is still a small chance that it may pop. Alright, now that we're done here, we run up, get back to the door. Oh, there's some people here. And navigate to those guys over there to that little tower. There should be a chest over there. inside the tower. If it's not there, I'll show you the exact location where it pops. Oh, get up here. What are you doing? Okay. And we are in luck. We got the chest. Simple. There. So we're done here. Go back to the road where we came from. I'm always going to try to keep it close to the road so it will be easier for you guys to maneuver. Alright, then you walk up these stairs over here and check the house over there. It should be right here. It's not, but it should be right here. Oh. 
Alright, let's get back to the road. Now we're gonna be uh, coming to the bridge. No, that guy just chilling still in my chest, no? No, my chest! Cockroach! Well, that's the location that I've shown you. There you go, taking my chest, man. <laughs> Alright, I will double check again. Okay, there's no chest over here. I believe he's also chest hunting. There we go, we got our ch chest respawn over here. These are the three that I've shown you at the very start, but we need to go back because there's still more chests that we can take a look at. Alright, always make sure to check that one over there. Now, we need to go up these stairs. Hopefully there's gonna be a boss because if you can kill if you kill bosses you also have a ch uh, chance I mean you also you also get one of the set pieces so you walk up these stairs right here and the boss is here cool let's deal with the boss I just got the set piece then a potential chest over there and we have it there we go Jared is messaging me I can't respond to him <laughs> make a video brother <laughs> Alright, but we're almost done with the routine, to be honest. There's just a few more locations and we're done. I think like three or four. Bam. Afterwards, you navigate over there. A potential chest right over there where my crosshairs are. Behind the wall. Let me deal with these guys real quick. Oh yeah, and Night Terror appears out of this standing stone, whatever. And we got the chest and it's master. Psycho. What we get? Ooh, two Crusaders at the same time, man. I don't want that. Alright, afterwards we go back down. Alright, if you want you can double check if the chest appear over there. Uh, but now we're gonna walk all the way up here, pass through this little tunnel over here, and behind this big tree we should have a chest. I mean, we should see a chest right there, and we have it. So, kind of dead. There we go. Afterwards, one more chest location. And that's the final one. So you walk over here, and it should be inside this little tower over here with the gargoyle, a big one, and it's there. You can see it right now. Get out of here, man. There it is. It's a simple one. And now I'm going to show you how you get back to... Um, the crossing roads where we started off and you just keep doing the same thing and trust me you're gonna get a lot of chests I mean this place is really nice and by the way please do leave a like for this video if you enjoyed it and it has helped you out also it will be a good indicator for me to understand whether this is something uh, I should work on and create some more videos off Boom. and that's the route right here that's where we came out so if you follow over there you will exit the delve now we got the bridge over there that I want to double check again if the chests are back because there are people running around here also uh, taking those chests and the more chests they're being open uh, they respawn faster so bam 
Uh, you can actually make, you don't have to follow the entire route. You can stick to a small piece. I'll show you just in a sec with the map. Uh, but in case if you do that small piece and you notice that this chest they simply don't pop, then do the entire uh, route because you'll need to open those chests that, you know, the ones I've shown you that there aren't a lot of them. Okay, so I'll just sell the chest over there. <laughs> Alright, so let me hide over here and show you what I meant. Okay, so this is the entrance, right? Follow the path. This is your road. Then you turn left, check this spot right here. Then check this spot right here. And then check this guy right here. If there are no chests, run back. You follow this path over here. You check over here. And then you check over here with the hood, right? Then you run down, you check over here. Then you run down, you check over here. And then you go inside, check over here. You already jumped through the fountain. You follow this road. Those chests are not are very easy not to uh, miss. You're done. You pop out over here. You check you check again. Check again. Come back here. Check again. This is a small route, right? Will help you to kind of like, or you can go above as well, back to the gorgile, and basically just stay in this area right here, right? It's pretty simple, because we have only one chest over here and only one chest over here. Uh, two chests over here and a boss over here so I mean there, there's a lot and if you just follow the route and you'll get a lot of loot a lot uh, dismantle it learn it sell it you know with good trains you can sell it make some good silver uh, the sets are actually pretty nice I really want to test out this tinker one so I'm really looking forward to test out the mad tinker and this one is actually also looking pretty nice for uh, stamina builds. I mean, look at that. Weapon crit, physical penetration, weapon damage. You deal uh, damage you call a murder up around you. Oh, okay, whatever. Oh, yeah, but it's actually uh, it's cool. Crows that deal more damage, so it's actually pretty cool. Something that triggers on its own. And a heavy set. Healing taken, maximum health. Healing taken. When you take damage, you overload and apply... Concussion to enemies and health. Well, I don't know. I haven't tried this one yet. I haven't tried none of them, but I'm really putting high hopes on the Tinker one. <laughs> so, yeah, once again, thanks all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can respond to them. So, if you got something to say, feel free leave your positive negative feedback whichever just don't swear simple as that feel free to join our discord i did set up some eso chats and i'm going to keep adding some more based on our growth i did create a a guild there aren't a lot of us at the moment i mean which well myself i'm focusing to level up quicker uh but we are looking for new players and essentially uh we are all going to be for playing with ebon heart so have that in mind we are ebon heart <laughs> going to go with Cyrodiil and stuff like that maybe in some future also get a guild trader and so on and so forth uh, so yeah thanks all for watching you all have a good morning day and night whatever you guys like it at I'll see you on the next video oh by the way most important Xbox and NA server that's uh, where I'm playing at <laughs> I keep getting it you know with Fallout 76 things are a lot easier here uh, you, you, ha you need to have in mind the platform, the server you're on, and stuff like that. But anyway, I'm gonna stop chat chatting here. I hope this video helped you, and I'll see you later. Bye. From the ashes we rose into the future we'll go. We are the clan, we have a gamer soul. By the might of the sword, we put the pen to the test. We are the